car, SUV, or truck, guess what? You're in luck. Frontier Motors is down the street. Got the best deals that can't be beat. Don't overpay, come in today. Doing business the old-fashioned way. Frontier, we've got the right price. Frontier, we'll treat you mighty nice. Frontier Motors, low overhead country. Ah, uh, yes, indeed. And we are, pl- mm, my voice is finally changing. It's about time. We are pleased to have with us Ivan Streckel from Frontier Motors. He is the owner of that fine establishment, ready, well, and certainly more than able to take any phone inquiries from you. If you'd like to get the price of a car or a truck or an SUV that you're thinking of buying or selling or trading in, here's what you do. You give us a call, 478-3116, 478-3116, and I will connect you as if by magic with Mr. Streckel, the owner of of Frontier Motors. Good morning, Mr. Owner. Hey, <laughs> hey, Don. Thanks so much for the introduction. And here we go again. This is 1370 AM Talk Radio. And we are also videotaping this for our Blab TV customers. So if you're watching us on Blab TV, I am alive, but I'm probably not live. And uh, we record this uh, show twice a month and we rebroadcast it on Blab TV. So the people in the Pensacola area have a go to dealer um, that gives you advice on what you should pay for a particular car, whether that be from a private individual, a used car dealership, or a new car dealership. And there's a couple different things that we do that helps you make sure that you get a good deal. And uh, some of the formats that we use are different than what you might find on the Internet. Most people, if they need a car, a value on a car, they'll Google it on the Internet, and you'll normally get uh, the uh, consumer consumer support of the NEDA. You'll also get the uh, admins, and you also get the Kelly Blue Book. Now, what we use a little bit differently, we use a book that you can't get on uh, the uh, Internet, and that is called a Black Wholesale Guidebook. That tells me what's going on through the auctions, which is very important, because that's what I call real-time pricing. And we also have the official NEDA guidebook, and this book is not a book that you can buy at your public library, which you can on the consumer's version. This book's a little bit different. The reason we use this particular book is not to fool the general public. It's because our credit unions and our bankers use this book. And that's why this is important because a banker might tell you this is what a car is worth. Now, I wouldn't take that advice from a banker. I would take advice as far as what interest rate you should pay and what how much you should finance. But I wouldn't really use the book value to tell you that this is what a car is worth. And that's where Frontier Motors comes in because what we do is we tell you what I would consider would be the real value. And that's based on auction reports, what I can predict buy a particular car for, bring it back to the lot, put a minor markup on it as far as a profit and say, this is what I can market that car for. And if the banker is booking the car out, for example, at $25,000 and they're going through the auction for about $20,000, I would be able to buy that vehicle, bring it back, sell it for, let's say 22,500 and you would still be $2,500 below a book value. Every once in a while, it's the opposite, where the book value says it's $25,000, and the vehicles are selling for more than that. I'll give you a prime example. A Lexus RX350 is very difficult to buy in what the NEDA guidebook says the value is, because you might have a value that says a 13 model is worth $30,000, but they're bringing more than that at the auction. The book just hasn't caught up yet. The other thing we can help you with also, if you're going to buy a brand new car, is we have the new car cost guides at the dealership. And Consumers Reports sells invoices to private individuals for 16 bucks a crack. And I know this because I get the Consumers Reports. I have them right here. In the back of Consumers Reports, they talk about how much money they can save you if you know what the dealer paid for a car. Well, I've got that information right at the dealership, which I'm willing to share at Frontier Motors at no charge to you. So if you've decided like 17 and a half million people last year that you want to buy a brand new car, no matter what I, what I do to try to talk you out of that. And when I say talk you out of that, I'm talking about the alternative to new, but let's say you've saved up your money. You've won the lottery, whatever. You got enough money that you can buy a brand new car and you don't care about the first year's depreciation in the second year. And so, uh, so, uh, therefore, um, you're going to buy a brand new car. I at least can tell you what you should pay for that car. And the second thing I can do, which I think is even more important, is make sure that when you toss the keys for your trade into that new car dealer, that you're going to get a fair appraisal. And believe me, folks, the appraisals can be all over the board. Even though the book 
is the same no matter where you go. If we use this NADA book value, it's exactly the same whether you go to a credit union, whether you go to the bank, or whether you go to a car dealership. And all car dealerships have this book. And again, I'm not saying that's what you pay, but the books are all the same. The main thing about it is to make sure that you're not paying over fair market value no matter what the book says. And I want to remind everybody that a banker is not qualified to do an appraisal on a car. A banker is qualified to tell you what the book says. They don't even ask you the color of the car, which is very important when you're buying a car. The number one reason I either make a deal sometimes or lose it is because of the color. And colors make a difference when you're buying cars. An ugly color is going to bring less money at the auction than a good-looking color. I'll give you a prime example. If you're going to be buying a dark blue Lexus versus a pearl white one, when you're buying them used, there can be as much as a $1,500 difference just in the color alone. Because there's more people buying pearl white Lexus products than there are buying dark blue and I can throw the burgundy or the greens in the mix. I know this for a fact because I've got what I consider a beautiful 2014 Chevrolet Stingray on the lot and it's green. Now we can consider a car, uh, when I tell you it's green, the first thing that probably pops in your mind, boy, that thing has got to be ugly. You know, I'll tell you folks, I took a, a, a poll before I bought this car from all 20 of our employees that are, uh, that are selling these cars. We've got seven, we got 11 salespeople and the rest of our managers and buyers. They all got together and said, this is one of the most, the prettiest Corvette they've ever seen. I bought that vehicle almost $3,000 less than normal because of the color alone. I'll tell you how important that is. I've had the vehicle for 90 days yet and I haven't sold it. And you know why I haven't sold it? Everybody says I don't want a green Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> can't figure it out. <laughs> right. you can't figure it out. And if you went online, folks, and looked up this green Corvette, just put Google Frontier Motors were the first one that pops up. Just type in Stingray. It's kind of confusing because they changed the name kind of, you know, they call it Corvette Stingray. But I noticed that the 14s don't pop up when you put in Corvettes. Uh -huh. The older ones, the 13s and down pop up, but the new ones all pop up when you put in Stingray. So you got to type in Stingray and you'll see this green car that we have on the lot, which is absolutely gorgeous. And folks, I'm going to change the subject for a little bit, a bit when we talk about pricing because I've got to talk about depreciation. And that Corvette happens to be one of the cars that I use an example because it's got 9,000 miles on it. It's a 14. It's loaded with navigation, everything on it. The window sticker was a hair over $70,000 brand new. It's got 9,000 miles on it. And we have it on the internet for 53.9. Now, I know that's a lot of money. But compared to a new one, we're talking about a difference almost $17,000 less than a brand new one. The other example that we have is we have a Volvo that I purchased last week, and it's an XC60, which is like a crossover between a station wagon and an SUV. I have the window sticker in my hands, and the window sticker on this car is $42,000. The vehicle's got about 5,000 miles on it. And we're selling it for $32,000. Now, and the other one I have, the most extreme example, is a 15 Jaguar F-Type R, which is their supercharged $110,000 rocket. And we have it with 4,000 miles on it for $82,000. That's a $28,000 difference. Consumers Reports finally put into writing what I've been talking about forever in April they came out with a magazine that said that the average car depreciates 27% the first year. That correlates into a $9,200 depreciation in year one. In other words, if you bought a, and let's use an, a, a Chevy Impala, for example. If you bought a Chevy Impala last year, Consumers Report says that car, if I appraise it today, would have been $9,200 less than what you paid for it last year. Isn't that a crime? Why would you buy a new one? When you come to Frontier Motors, and I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. I've got it pulled up here on my computer. And when I talk about used selling used cars, doesn't necessarily, when you talk about used cars, a lot of people say, well, you know, and I've had this, heard this from new car buyers. Well, why would I buy a used car? That's probably somebody else's problems. Well, that's not true. If that was the case, I'd have been out of business 20 years ago. There's a lot of great cars out there that people trade in for whatever reason. Sometimes they can't afford it. Sometimes they didn't realize the insurance was going to kill them. Sometimes it's things like gas mileage. Sometimes it's things like, whoops, I'm having twins. I got to get rid of the Camaro and buy a minivan. 
There's all kinds of reasons why I would get on a car on the lot, like the 16 Tacoma that we bought the other day with 200 miles on it. So if you're going to buy a brand new Tacoma, where would you go? I'd send you up to Bob Tyler Toyota and look at a brand new one. And then I would ask you to get them to give you an out the door figure and then look at ours with 200 miles on and get an out the door figure from us. And, and let's compare them. That's putting everything, make it really easy for you. This is after the trade in, after the taxes, after you tag transfer, after everything. And if their, if their car with 10 miles on it is the same price as mine with 200 miles, I'm the first one to tell you, go buy the new one. I do a lot of research before I buy cars like this to make sure I can save you enough money. I'll make it worth your while to buy one that's got 200 miles on it. I've got a 16 F-150 on the lot with 360 miles on it. We have a 16 Toyota Prius, a new body style Prius with 700 miles on it, a Nissan Altima with 900 miles on it, a Hyundai Sonata with 1,000 miles on it, a Santa Fe with 1,000 miles, a Dodge Challenger with 1,600 miles on it, a Honda CRV with 2,100 miles on it, and I can go down the list. This morning when I pulled up the computer, we had 386 cars sitting on the ground with two more truckloads coming in. So we have a little bit over 400 cars in inventory, and a lot of these cars are what I can would call the alternative to new. In other words, they're not brand new. I'm not a franchise dealership, so I've got to sell them used. I've got to mark the used car box because we're not a Toyota dealership. So even though this 200 mile Toyota I have would be like new, it's not new. And even if I bought a brand spanking new, which sometimes they sell brand new cars at the auction to independent dealers like Frontier Motors, as soon as I get them, the warranty clock starts ticking. So if I have it for a month, for example, instead of having a 36-month warranty, you're going to have a 35-month warranty. But if I save you $6,000 on that car, it might be worth your while to look at a car like that that still smells like brand new, that has no paintwork, that hasn't been smoked in, and that, of course, looks like brand new. Now, because we have so many cars that are like brand new, we also take a lot of used cars in trade. What I mean by used cars, cars that are five or six years old, maybe have 50, 60, 70,000 miles on them that you can buy for pennies on the dollar versus new. Talking about the depreciation, when I talked about consumers reports, it says that after five years, the average car depreciates $21,000 from what you paid for. $21,000 depreciation in five years. Think about the savings. The average new car sold last year was 34 thousand dollars five years later the car's worth twelve thousand dollars that's why we are so successful it's very interesting when i look at what new car dealerships are selling and how many cars they're selling versus what we're selling at frontier motors and what i mean by that is that there are cars the average toyota dealership for example nationwide sells about 150 cars a month the average we sell 250 cars a month. Now, why would we sell more than the number one type manufacturer? Well, there's a reason for it. Because we save people so much money. That's what this whole show is about. It's not just about Frontier Motors, though. It's about the fact that we give free advice to people, no matter if they buy a car from us or not. We've been doing this 1370 talk radio show for 20 years now. In a couple of months, it'll be 20 years that we started doing the show, Don. Yep, time does get by. And that is the voice of Ivan Streckel. And we're hoping he'll be with us for at least another 15 to 20 minutes as we continue with this edition of Talk at 10. It's the Frontier Motor Show here on News Talk 1370 WCOA. You're cordially invited to join us by phone, 478-3116. If you have a question for Ivan, 478-3116. Perhaps you'd like to get the price of a car or a truck or an SUV that you're thinking of buying or selling or trading in. Give us a call. 4783116. And when we talk about advice, folks, it doesn't necessarily always have to be about price, even though I think that's one of the, at least as far as the people are concerned, that's one of the most important things that they ask us is, well, how much, how much, how much? How much should I pay? How much should I get? Those are the important questions. But there's other things that we help you with. For example, if you're going to buy your neighbor's car, it costs close to $50 to run a Carfax report. I think last time I checked, it was about 42 bucks plus taxes. So it's close to $50 for Carfax report. We pay one fee, and I can run as many as I want. So I run them for the general public. Even if you're buying one at another car dealership, not every car dealership subscribes to Carfax and or AutoCheck. AutoCheck is the second largest provider of history reports in the nation. We subscribe to both of them. There's a lot of dealerships that I know, especially major dealers, that only use AutoCheck. We used to be one of those about eight years ago. All we did was AutoCheck. 
Well, then I had a customer come in and said, wait a minute, the Carfax said an accident and auto check didn't. And I was embarrassed about that. So what I did is I subscribed to both of them. So now we run them both just to make sure they're both the same. Don, do we have a call? This is David. Hey, David, thanks for calling the Frontier Motor Show. How can we help you? Hey, Ivan, uh, I am a uh, strong supporter of y'all, even though I don't change my vehicles very well, often. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> but I have a, 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 a young man that's a former neighbor of mine. He's moved up to Tennessee right now, and he was talking with me last night about buying a vehicle. I told him not to buy new, <laughs> and it was stressing him to uh, talk to y'all. However, financially, we've dealt, uh, or I've been trying to mentor him a little bit, okay. and I don't want him to start out with something even as new as like two or three years old. Right. Uh, how far back do y'all go? I mean, he takes something with a hundred thousand miles on it. If it's a good price and in reason in good condition, you know, I mean, uh, how far back do y'all go on, on your shopping for things? If he came, if he were to come to you and say, look, you know, I want to, uh, I, I don't know, such and such a car, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, how, how far back do you go? We go, uh, that's a good question, David. I, I appreciate you calling the show and giving us a plug. Um, because we have so many cars that are like new, we take a lot of nice trade-ins. And if one of the things that I know that we do, like on the weekend, we take a lot of trade-ins. The first thing we do on, on Monday mornings, we take them back to our mechanic. His name is KC. And we have him go through the cars to see which ones are worth keeping and which ones aren't. A lot of the cheaper cars, David, when I say cheaper, I don't mean the cars are cheap, but pricing wise, inexpensive, um, don't, don't pass uh, our inspection. Cause I want to make sure that if your boy buys a vehicle from us, even if it's a $5,000 car, um, that it's going to be a decent car. But to answer your question, we normally have about 50 cars on the lot that are under $10,000 that have, as far as I'm concerned, passed our inspection. Now I still always urge someone else uh, to do some, you know, get a second opinion on the inspection process because we, we go through them. Um, but I, most people will want to take them to their mechanic, but that they've passed our inspection. So it's to answer your question, usually about 50 cars. And if he gives us an idea of what he's looking for, uh, we try to get these cars before they hit the internet. Cause once they go on the internet, if it's expensive, they're sold right away. So if you're looking for someone, definitely would behoove him to give us a call and say, here's what I'm looking for. And the, the advantage I think that we're going to have is we mark our cars up, but a lot of times we mark our cars up a lot less than most dealers, which should save him on, even on an older car, at least a thousand dollars and make it worth his while. Model car. I look at what the incentives are. I look at what you can buy a new one and then I'm buying way back of that. So I can still put a markup on it, but still save you a ton of money. So don't be fooled by $10,000 off of MSRP. I got a flyer in this morning's mail. I'm not going to mention the dealership, but it said that a particular vehicle qualifies for three different rebates. But then when you w read the fine print, you could never qualify for all three rebates. I shouldn't say it did qualify, but that's what their advertising said. $4,500 off. And they showed how they got to that. You wouldn't be able to qualify all three rebates. So you've got to be careful when you see the advertisements and not get sucked into that. I still would urge you to come to Frontier Motors and just take a look at our inventory before you buy at a brand new car dealership. And if it's a good deal, I'll be the first one to tell you to buy it. That's where that advice comes in. When we talk about that, we give people advice. If it's a better deal than what we can do for you, I'll tell you, go ahead and buy it. I remember when the new Highlanders came out last year, the Highlander changed their body style. It was a hard car to get. One of the customers called the radio show and said, hey, I'm thinking about buying a, a new Highlander. I think it was a 15 a Highlander. And I said, go buy a brand new one because it's going to take six months before the used ones are out, before I can get a bargain on one. And that's normally the time frame that it takes if there's a body style change. If there's not a body style change, the depreciation is immediate. But when they came out with the Corvettes, remember when they came out with the Stingray two and a half years ago? They were marking the Stingrays up $10,000 over list price. They weren't a good deal on the used car lot because dealers were paying just as much for used ones as new ones. So I'm the first one to tell you back then, go buy a brand new one or wait. Well, guess what? Now you can go to any dealer and buy one $100 over invoice. And then we get the huge depreciation on top of that. So anyways, this is what, this is what I'm talking about as far as advice. The other thing we can do for you also, folks, is come to us before you sell that car. That's still going to be very important no matter what happens. Come to us. Give a, let us give you a written price. That way you can sell us your car. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about getting a, a, a fair deal on a trade-in. We'll just write you a check. And I do this all the time. I probably buy about between five to 10 cars a week 
from private individuals. And that's people like you, Don. If you want to sell your yeah. car, I'll tell you, hey, <laughs> let me let me take it and trade or let me just write you a check for it. And I, normally, I trade in the last one that I bought from you. That's what I've been doing for the, about the last uh, 15 years or so. I'm on number, what, seven or eight? I've forgotten now. Uh, and, among two people, of course. Don's on number seven or eight. Yeah, and, I don't, I mean, I don't keep buying them just for myself, but uh, two of us do. And that is the voice of Ivan Strecker with Frontier Motors at 230 Beverly Parkway, but he happens to be at 6565 North W Street at the moment. That's where our studios are located. If you have a question because you'd like to get the price of a car or a truck or an SUV you're thinking of buying or selling or trading in, call us. Talk to Ivan. 478-3116. That's 478-3116. As we continue with this edition of Talk at 10 here on News Talk 1370 WCOA. When we're selling between 50 and 70 cars a week, that means that I've got to get out and buy 50 to 70 cars a week. I would rather buy one from a local individual than buy something from someone I don't know. And we do buy cars at the auction. And one of the reasons that I can buy the newer cars, like the ones we're talking about at the auction, because the auction guarantees those cars. In other words, they put the green light on, which means that I'm guaranteed I'm not going to get a car that's got frame damage or major accidents or a salvage title problem or odometer problem or a lemon law buyback. These are all things that people worry about that I uh, am guaranteed that I'm not going to get a bad car. So, uh, but I still would rather buy uh, a, a car from an individual that might be listening to the show. And I remember a couple of months ago, we had a 200 mile grand caravan. I don't know. I, I think what happened is they ended up buying two grand caravans. This is a, this is a family that went in different directions. The wife went out and bought a car. The husband went out and bought a car. They got back home. They both bought the same car. Talk about bad communication. They went back to That's the dealer <laughs> Don, to get yeah. their money back on one the dealer wouldn't give them their money. Give them money back. Matter of fact, they were pretty adamant about like, get the heck out of here. You already bought. Mm -hmm. So they heard the radio show. They came to us. We appraised the vehicle at an appreciated price, of course, and we were able to buy that car with 200 miles on it from a private individual. And there was nothing wrong with that car. They said, matter of fact, call me. Have somebody call me up if they're interested. We sold the car since then, but uh, they said to call them up and then they would give the car a good send off that it wasn't a problem car. It was just the fact they had two twins and they didn't need them. If you get if you're getting a company car, if you're lucky enough to get a job where you're going to get a company car, why have your car sit in the driveway? Just sell it to us. What if you're military? And I had this happen this morning that um, a, a military person wanted me to make an offer on their car, but because I had multiple units in stock, I think it was a Toyota 4Runner. And I have four, five 4Runners in stock, so I told them I would do a consignment. They said, "Well, we're being deployed." I said, "I don't care." I said, "Just tell me where to wire the money to." Once the vehicle, and we do an agreement, we've been doing this for military forever since we've been in business, and you can get deployed, we sell the vehicle, let's say we've agreed to give you $30,000, for example, then we just put that money in your account, even if you've already moved. Of course, there's a little bit of trust factor, they have to trust us, where you can call a better business bureau, you can call anybody that's purchased a car from us, or we've got a very good reputation uh, in uh, the Pensacola area, and that's one of the reasons that we sell almost 70% of our customers are repeat or referral customers, which that doesn't sound like a big deal, but folks in the used car industry, it's a real big deal. New cars. It's not that it's because you're going to get a good car when you're buying a new car. At least you think you are, unless it's been recalled 17 times in the first year. But, um, in, in used cars, people have, have a tendency to buy wherever the car is. And with a hundred and over a hundred used car dealers just in Pensacola. If you're looking for a particular car, just like David called here, looking for a car for his son. Well, if he finds one, finds one across the street that they just go over there and buy it. So for us to have 70% repeat, people will wait for us to get them a car. Number one, because they know that we're going to give you a warranty. If you're buying from an independent dealer that marks the box as is walk out, you buy by us to get at least a three month warranty on the car. Most of our cars already have factory warranty, but if even if they don't, even if they have 140,000 miles on it, you're still going to get a three-month drivetrain warranty on it. And number two, because we're going to give you a price in writing, we're going to give you a fair price, and we're going to do it without you having to go back and forth and doing that negotiating garbage that most people hate. I'm the first one to tell our salespeople that if you have a customer that's interested in a particular car, let them drive the car, make sure they like it. And while they're doing that, I'll do the negotiating behind the scenes so when you come back off of a test drive, I already have the pricing ready for you. And that's an out-the-door figure. Wouldn't, if you go to a dealership that won't give you an out-the-door figure, I'd walk out. Because isn't it their job to tell you 
what they want for their product. When you go to a dealership that says, well, make me an offer or how much do you want for your car or what do you want your payment to be? It's not a good place to be. They're selling the product. They should tell you how much they want. Now, are there instances where a customer comes in like we had one last week where a customer came in and says, I want to be $200 a month? Of course there are. Or they gave us that information and it's our job to get a car that fits their needs at $200 a month. So that's going to be really important because I don't want to show you a car that's $400 a month if you already know your budget. Front Street Motors is located at 230 Beverly Parkway. We've been going on 20 years in business. This is 1370 AM radio. You might be watching this on Blab TV. There'll be a phone number on the bottom of your screen. So if you have questions, we're open until 6 o'clock at night. You can leave a message. We'll get back to you. You can email us. You can text us. There's a lot of different ways to get a hold of Frontier Motors. We are the go-to dealer for free advice when you're in the car market. And folks, just so you know, you're not wasting our time. We get this all the time. Why well, didn't want to waste your time? We're going to be there till six. You can't waste my time. Everybody has the same amount of minutes in their life. So when you call us for advice, that's what we do. And the reason we do this is we're here to build goodwill because if we give you good advice to buy a car somewhere else, we know that's not the only car you're ever going to buy. The next time, see us. In the meantime, anybody that asks you, where should I go to buy a used car? You tell them Frontier Motors because we're the guys that help you get the deal. And I'll be the first one to tell you, if it's a good deal, go ahead and buy it. And sometimes it's not a good deal. I would say probably 75% of the time, you could, there's a little bit of room for negotiating over what they're giving you price. And I base this on what I can sell a car like that for. With having 400 cars in inventory, I probably have the twin to, let, to that right on the, on the lot. Don't forget now, free Carfax reports, free auto check reports. We've got a great Facebook page. You can like us on Facebook. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got this show on YouTube. We've got a great website that has 31 detailed photographs. There's pricing on every car. The only one that might not have a price is one we just got in. But they all have prices on there. And if you have any questions, Stop in a 230 Beverly Parkway with your car. Let us give you a price on it. Let, it tell, let us tell you what to pay if you found a car somewhere else. Let us what you, tell you what to pay on that new car that you found, if it's a good car or bad car. We have the car's ratings and rankings. We have the safety reports. We have the tow ratings. We've got all the information to give you our opinion after 20 years of doing this to make sure the next car you buy is a car that's going to work for you, whether it's from Frontier Motors or somewhere else. Well, thank you for listening and thank you for watching. Yes, Have well, a great day. Frontier Motors is down the street. Got the best deals that can't be beat. Don't overpay. Come in today. Doing business the old-fashioned way. Frontier. We've got the right price. Frontier. We'll treat you mighty nice. Frontier Motors. Low overhead. Frontier.